Hello and good afternoon. Today we're having a look at how to gain access to the EFI partition. Okay, that is an extremely important boot partition for Windows. Also, if we have, shall we say, dual boot with maybe Linux, Ubuntu, etc., we also need to gain access to it. It's actually very, very straightforward. All you need to do is open up a PowerShell prompt in admin mode. So just type in PowerShell. Okay, right click on PowerShell, run as administrator, and it should open up there. Okay, now all you need to do is type in mount vault. Okay, give it any drive letter that is not being used. Okay, so you might want to check. Okay, this PC. We have C, okay, that's it. It's a test machine, so that's why. Okay, so we'll give it, for example, G. Okay, and then forward slash S. Now, as we're still in the admin power prompt shell, PowerShell prompt shell, we can happily go to our G drive and if you see, we can see the EFI partition, we can make changes in there, we can see the EFI, we can see what it has, okay, in this case it just has the standard things, okay, DIR, okay, and then you have your boot x 64efe etc. So if you needed to do some custom modifications to the boot section, and you put your Ubuntu in here, or etc., or any other reasons. For example, we had a case where our BIOS upgrade did not work unless we actually created a folder in here for the BIOS. Okay, so now let's just go back to our C drive. Okay, now don't forget, once you have actually gained access, you've done everything that you need to do, you need to kind of like cleanly just exit out. So it's now mount full. Okay, we had it as G drive before, and now it's forge slash D. Now, if we try to find our G drive, you see, it's not there. We get an error. So that's how to gain access to your EFI, UEFI drive, hidden drive, shall we say. Um, and make changes and also clean the exit. Hopefully this has helped. Thank you for watching.